All right, as we get started, just make sure you guys are taking pride in your stance and start every single rep. This isn't something we can afford to come back to bite us in a crucial moment. And as you can see here, Juwan, just with that, how much you're springing down, I still think you got to get it a little bit lower, a little bit more forward body lean in your stance. Uh, but this is a pretty good rep. Probably, honestly, one of your worst reps of the day. You got better and better. Chase, just look at your pad level compared to where Juwan's is. Juwan is throwing his body into the break, low pad level. See how high yours is? You're kind of pitter-pattering. This is what we want to get to. Lower pads, more violent feet, just to start to trust them as you get used to this. Jeremiah, same thing. You're just pitter-pattering a little bit at the top. You're more athletic than this. Throw your body into it. Drop, break, line. Get around. Too, too many steps. This one's better. Kind of throwing your body into that, getting out efficiently. It should be drop, break, line. This is how it should look. Drop, break, line. And see how he's pushing off that break foot and getting the drive foot in the ground ahead of him. So he's gaining ground right off that break. Break, drive foot in the ground. Gaining ground with every break, it's a really, really good rep. That's a better job. I can see you trying to get that. Don't reach for that second break. Just run. Run, drop in the direction you want to go. Joe, see how low, see how, how much you have to dip on your stance, get lower. This isn't bad. You're turning a little bit early. You want to keep our shoulders square. Just get your arms moving up and down. The way they're moving to the side is, is making it hard for you to be sharp to your cut. Here's a good rep. That's a good rep, Jeremiah. That's it. This is a really, really, really quality rep. A little bit of a false step. Fix that. Drop, break, line. Drop, break, line. I think you could drive off your, your break foot a little bit more, but that's not bad. Great rep. Hey, so this is like when we run curls now, this is the top of the curl. When we run a curl, I teach you to go drop yeah. Just one, two, that top step yeah. of the board. All right. I'm taking him out of the cut. Yeah. Turn your top foot at a 45 degree angle to open your hips up. That's what I'm talking about right here. Top foot at like a 45 degree angle so you can open your hips and get the run down. Same thing, yeah. That's better. That's better. That's a much better rep, but just attack that top cone. Your eyes are coming out of your break a little bit early, Joe. Attack that top cone. Stick that foot in the ground. You're just tapping that, that break foot. You're not really driving off it. Really drive off that. That ain't bad. You're getting better. It's just about muscle memory at this point. Getting used to it. Trust your feet. Get yourself set, Juwan, before the snap so you can power off. Stop all this moving around. I feel like you could have been cleaner at the top, but that's a pretty good rep. Drop, break, drop. See, so you're taking a, a few too many. Just be a little bit cleaner at the top, a little bit more explosive. That ain't a bad rep. That's not bad. That's a good rep, Jeremiah. Good rep. Much cleaner. Drop, break, drop, break. You're taking too, too many, but you'll get used to it on the second time around. We do this again, you'll be much better. Attack the top cone, Joe. See how you're not really driving off that break foot and you're just tapping it in the ground? You got to sink your hips in the ground, drive off that, and, and push yourself in the opposite direction. This is better, Jace, especially that, that second break. This is much smoother. Just really trust your feet. Drop, break, line. That's not bad. Really trust it. Throw your body into it. Hey, so good top break. Why did this happen? We talked about this on the field. Your eyes come out of your break early. This isn't bad. Sinking your hips into it, getting in and out. Watch your eyes come out and see how there's nothing. Your feet are underneath your body because your torso is going one way and your feet are still the other way. Keep your head down. Last thing out of your break is your eyes. That's a great rep. That's a great rep. See how the last thing out of his break is his eyes. That's much better. Don't reach for it, Joe. Calm yourself down. That's your best rep yet, Jace. Good job. Way to finish. You guys got better and better than that as we went on. Everything in our releases, like you ever seen Juwan do that duck walk shit? You seen him warming up like this? Yeah. Right? So it's just so you like are aligned here. You push off the inside part of your foot, your ankle, your hips are aligned with the violent. Yeah, it's not to square. So you, you start the inside foot up, but now you just have space on your insteps. So really what we're trying to do here with this drill is, is create a violent hip shift while we're attacking and gaining ground on the DB. We always want to eat up space, always want to dictate the tempo by, by attacking him vertically. But we want to play on our insteps so with every movement we're creating a violent hip shift and, and kind of keeping him guessing as to where we're going. And then when he reacts one way or another, we can break off of it inside or outside based on you know where we get him to jump to. 
That's not bad, Juwan. Ain't a bad first way to start it. Get set in your stance. Again, this is not the, this is the penalty in football. Get set in your damn stance. That ain't bad. Good job being on your insteps. Just take more of a power step with that first step. We want to get to that top cone. Be vertical with that first step. Good job. See how you're false stepping a little bit, reaching a little bit outside your framework there, Jeremiah? Stay, keep everything inside your body. Chase, this isn't bad. This isn't bad. Just getting used to it, getting used to it on your insteps. Just make sure that front foot, again, is getting vertical. You're not stepping underneath yourself. Again, same thing. Get set. I called you back for this false step. This is the shit we got to get rid of. This ain't it. We got to get rid of this. Power step right here is important. And we're not taking any full step from right here to here. We came to ground right away. Full pull. This is so much better right here. You got to take pride in these details. Boom, 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 boom. Exactly. Gaining ground right now. Attack his leverage right now. That's going to put him in oh shit mode and make him jump back every time. On your insteps, go. Good job. Good rep. Better, Joe. That's a much better rep. You can gain a little bit more ground with that first step, but that's a much better rep. Same thing, Jace. Just step underneath yourself with that first step. You probably just got to back up from the cone a little bit, but you're doing a, Look at your hip shift. Look how much your hips are going back and forth. Much better rep there, Jeremiah. That's good stuff. Much better rep there. You're very coachable. Get set in your stance. Again, this is a really good rep. Just get friggin' set. It's your best rep yet. Being on your insteps, being explosive, gaining ground. So you're getting after that first false step, Jace, you're getting so much better. Look at your hips, back and forth. With how big you are, bro, people won't be able to cover you if you're playing like that. Good rep. Good rep, Jeremiah. You're really getting it. Good job gaining ground. That's a good rep. There it is. Just watch how he's getting low to lower, and he's trying to juke this guy out. He's cutting back and forth on his insteps. Violent hip shift, low to lower. That's how it's got to look. Not bad. Not bad. See how, you, see how your pad level is so high, your chest is straight up. Look how his is more at, at a downward angle. See how your chest is so straight up. Just, just have a forward body lean. Same with you, Juwan. More of a forward body lean. You take two extra steps there. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. That's not what we want. That's too many. Good. That's a real good rep, Jeremiah. Just don't have to be in such a rush. You're trying to be shifty more than you're trying to be in a rush, Joe. That's much better there. All right, and now obviously, like, we're practicing here five quicks, but just understand that you're, you're going to come out of this release when you get the DB to jump. Here's an example of it being three quicks where you go one, two, three, and on the third hard one, he jumps outside. If that's the case and you've won, we'll now get into your route. So just understand that we're practicing five quicks. This could happen on three, uh, probably no more than five, but, but it's all based on how the DB reacts and what your plan is to get him to jump, you know, opposite of where you want to go. That's not bad, Joe. That's a good rep. Yeah, Jace, you, you're looking better and better at this. Keep the ball up front. Don't let it cross your eyes like that. Attack the ball, even the tennis ball. That's why we're doing it. Good rep, Juwan. Ah, come on, finish. Get your 10. Good, good. Just both you guys work on that forward body lean. That's pretty good, Jace. See you trying some different things, Juwan, some different tempos. This ain't bad. All right, so now we're talking about a hitch route. I didn't get any of these other hitch routes filmed. But I'm a big believer. A, a lot of guys drop on their outside foot and then gather with one, two. I, I don't believe in that. I, I coach the hitch route being drop on your second, drop pop on your second inside. So you're going to push vertical. Everything's a feed until it's not. Push vertical, you know, selling feed until that second inside foot hits the ground. When that second inside foot hits, you're going to drop, bend your knee, sink your hips, drop your weight, and then pop on that outside foot. And that's all it should take you to get in and out. Drop pop. And what happens is when you do it that way, you end up running through your break more. You gain another half yard depth, if not even a full yard. And it's just much more sudden for the DB. And I'll show you guys an example. Uh, but Jeremiah, you're, you're dropping on your outside, then one, two, gather. And just watch how those two steps, the one, two, gather, just step underneath themselves. And they're kind of wasted. And, and in my opinion, very inefficient compared to what it could be. And here, here's an example of it. So the hitch route, one thing we want to make sure of, the last thing out of our break is our eyes. And again, just think of the expression, everything's a fade until it's not. So this guy that's running back for the Seahawks shows his eyes early. See right there, he's dead. The corner's going to jump that every time at the highest levels, and that's, that's a pick six. It's on him. So this is what I'm talking about here. Drop, pop on your second inside. This is one of my former players. And just look how much depth he gets. Low pad level, everything's screaming fade until it's a sudden drop, pop. First inside, second inside, drop, pop. And that's all it's taking him to get in and out. 
drop pop. I'm just a big believer in this way of doing it. He's getting seven yards depth, you know, and that and that's huge. That that's that's important. That extra half yard. Here he kind of raises up at the top. This receiver for the Bucks, you can see his pad level raising up. But again, look at his suddenness. Look what it does to the corner, because he's reaching with that drop step, so it's still gaining depth, selling vertical to the corner. But you're really gathering yourself. Drop pop. It's so efficient. Uh, I just I really believe in that way of, of teaching the hitch route. All right, the slant, just run through this, self-fade, two full strides. That's much better here, Jace. Just come a little flatter. It's a good feel for, for this little deep over route, good stair step. Just make sure you're probably going to have to snap that off a little bit more aggressively. Snap that off. That's, that's better, Jeremiah. It's got to be a violent snap. He's going to be on your outside hip. You want to snap him off your outside hip. Snap it. That ain't bad, Jace. Just a little bit, just just get across the field more than you want to get vertical. You still got to get across the field, vertical, and then snap it off. That ain't bad. All right, but understand, you're going to have a man defender running with you on your outside hip. You got to snap him off you. That's much, much better. Good job coming friendly, getting across the field. All right, tight break on your third inside. That's a curl, 12-yard curl. Just look at your pad level raise up here, Juwan. Just trust your feet right there. It's raising up. Get it lower. Chest over your toes. Everything's got to be selling fade with a low pad level. Decent break point. Just run through that, Jeremiah. Drop one, two, three on your inside and run all the way through it. I love that you come up and you take another rep right here. Now you're dropping on your outside. And you're not really running back out of it. And maybe that's what they wanted. It was kind of confusing if they wanted to stop or what. But here's what a curl looks like. This is Jawan from the summer. Tight break on your third inside on your third inside. One, two, drop one, two, three. Low pad level, throwing his whole body into the break. Watch this. Drop on your inside, one, two, three, to get in and out. Three choppy steps, that's really good. That's about as good as it gets. Here's another one here on the other side. Everything's selling fade, suddenly sinking his hips, dropping his weight. Just gotta come up with the football. Drop one, two, three. Drop in the direction you wanna go. Turn that top foot of the 45 degree angle, open your hips up and run. Good low pad level. Finish, finish, finish. You gotta practice finishing. So this is good. You just got to run out of it. So watch yourself shorten your stride at the top. Just run. Elongate your stride and just run. You don't have to chop it up. You don't have to be friendly right away. You can drift for two yards before you get friendly. Snap and just run. Third inside. Push off and round the corner as fast as you can. Push off around the corner. <clears throat> Push off around the corner. Keep your arms pumping through the break. That's not a good job there. Keep your arms pumping through the break. Snap your head and eyes around. Arms pumping through the cut. Snap your head and eyes around to pull friendly. But you got two yards to get friendly. Arms, arms, arms. That's not bad. Head and eyes. Arms, arms, arms. Head and eyes. That's a really good job. Not bad there either. Third inside speed cut. Come on. You got to get set. Get yourself set. You got to fix this. You can't be doing this in an NFL training camp. One, two, that's not bad. Your pads raise up a little bit. That's a pretty good break. That's good stuff. Really just snap out of it. That's good. I like that. Keep your arms pumping. Again, just run through it. You're just trying to get friendly right away and sink your hips so violently. It's a smooth cut. It's a speed cut. Just run through it. And you're really shortening those, those two steps. You're driving your break step. Just like that. See how Joe doesn't slow down at all? This is really good. Just Push off around the corner. Get your head and eyes around a little sooner, Joe. That's it. That's it. Arms pumping. Arms pumping. Arms pumping. That's a good job. Run through it. Just run all the way through it. Finish the catch. All right. So, listen. If we're running a dig route like this, it should be a speed drop, which is drop, break, drive, line. You're going drop, break, drop, break, drive, line. Drop, break, drop, break, drive, line. And you're, you're just, you got to have more of your momentum going the opposite way. I know he wanted you to give him a move at the top. This is how this is how a regular dig should look, a regular speed drop. This is us walking through it back in 2014 at Rutgers. Drop, break, drive, line. Drop, break, drive, line. <clears throat> drop, break, drive, line. See this? See how his body lean is going in the direction he wants to go already? He's just gathering his feet and he's running through the drive line. Running through the drive line. So get through it like this, then you can tempo yourself. 
make a catch on Pierce. This is a good example. He's using, he's dragging his foot as the drop step, but it works. Drop, break, drive, line, head nice. It's Leonte Carew who plays for the Dolphins. So this is going to take you seven steps to get in and out, Jeremiah. I know we want to give a move. I'm going to show that clip next. But this has got to be more efficient than seven steps. Maybe five if you give a great move. But this is taking you way too many because you're dropping in the wrong direction. You're dropping on your outside foot. So the inset, right? If you want to give a move at the top of a dig, this is just where your duck walk comes in. On your drop break step, you're just going to be on your insteps and use, a, and use a hip shift. Drop, break, drive line. This is his drop step right here. And it can be done when, it, when he's in a trail position or if he's ahead of you. Drop, break, drive, line. The duck walk, you get your, hit your ankles, knees, and hips aligned. Loosen your hips. And there it is. That's a speed drop break point, but just with, with a hip shift is the first two break steps. Drop, break, drive, line. Drop, break, drive, line. Knee inside his ankle, given a violent hip shift. That'll work if the defender's above you as well. Here's Jason Witten. Drop, break, drive, line. Violent hip shift. Real efficient in the break here. None of them are pitter-pattering. They're all getting in and out of their break. No pitter-patter. Got to get in and out. That was a little better, to be honest. Your feet come parallel, but that's a little bit better. Just you got to get your body leaning to the inside more to get in and out of that. See how your feet come parallel here, Jeremiah, and you have to go directly out to the side to get around the corner? You got to keep your feet staggered. Good rep there, Joe. Again, you're hopping at him with your feet parallel. He's going to jack you up in your chest right there, Juwan. You're stopping your whole momentum. You can't do that. Keep your feet staggered. Move your back foot first. You end up fixing this and doing a great job. Okay? Good catch here, but watch how early you show your eyes. You're clearing the DB. You're running the pre you're, you're pressed in the slot, running the seam. You're clearing the DB and showing your eyes at four yards. That's undisciplined. That ain't going to do it. Keep your head down and run. Clear the linebacker and get yourself open before you're looking for the ball so early. Those little things got to be cleared up. You're a professional athlete now. It's got to get right. Same thing here. You're hopping right at him, Jeremiah, and see how your feet come parallel, and you got to step out and around him. We want to get vertical. We want to shave his shoulder and get vertical, and because your feet are coming together, you have to go out and around. <clears throat> That's not what we want, and that will get you beat against the best corners in the world. This was it right here, Juwan. This was my, the greatest rep of the day. Moving your back foot first, eating up space, way better than this hopping stuff. Move your back foot first. You're attacking him vertically, eating up space. That's going to that's gonna move any DB off his mark when you pair it with hand combat. That's a great rep. It's a way to get better. It's a little bit better by you, Jeremiah. You're still stepping a little bit out to the side because you're coming parallel. Keep those feet staggered and see how quickly Juwan's getting vertical? Vertical right now. Shaving his shoulder. That's how it's got to look because his feet are staggered. Great finish with the catch. Same thing. Got to get, Got to get rid of this. Can't let your feet come parallel. I'm not even going to worry about the release with this, Jace, because I'm sure you've never done it, but you just look smooth, man. When you trust your feet, this is a post route, something you've done. When you trust your feet, you look very smooth. You just got to get more of this drill work in with all these break points so it becomes second nature. All right, we are speed cutting this dig. Those are two good reps. Fifth outside. Just make sure you don't look like you're counting steps. Just run and trust your feet. Okay, you're going to be all right. Run, trust your feet. Fifth outside. Now you try to speed drop it. You're going to take one too many steps again. Drop break, drop break, drive line, because you're dropping on your outside. Look how efficient that is. Look how quickly he's getting in and out. Drop, break, drive, line. It's the most efficient way to get in and out. You guys got it. You got to practice it. It's got to become second nature. See how choppy that is? It ain't going to work. It's pretty good there, Joe. Stay friendly. It's better. You're getting better at it. Still too choppy, but it's got to become second nature. Spend some, spend some time practicing the footwork. This shit's got to stop. Get your stance right. Everything starts with a good stance. That's good. You tried to speed cut that one. That one's, that one's good. Push off around the corner. Get your head and eyes around. That's a really good rep. Really, really good rep. All right, so the vertical set. This isn't bad at all. We want to push off our insteps. Don't lose any speed. All right, it's, it's a really violent hip shift at the top without losing any speed. You just got to run through the duck walk. All right, so this is Odell Beckham doing it. This is about as good as it could possibly look. 
All right, pushing off his insteps, knee inside his ankle. Make sure on these corners you get your head down, find your landmark. If the landmark's the front pylon, find it, make sure you're aiming there, then show your eyes. That's about as good as it looks as far as the duck walk's concerned. Jace, you just give a hard pressure step, which if you're leaning into him as a big body on a linebacker, that'll, that'll be all right. Just run through this. See how, how you're slowing yourself down and losing momentum. We don't want to lose any speed here. Run through it. Again, it's something you've got to practice and get, get used to and become muscle memory. So opposite of where you want to go. So you're going to push off this instep and then immediately redirect right off that one without losing any speed. This is a really good Watch out. See how he doesn't lose any speed? That's the way you want it to look. Because if you slow down, now that gives him a shot to show up and grab. You want, don't lose any speed. This did a really good job, Joe. Not losing any speed. Really pushing off and trusting your insteps. It's a great rep. Look at you actually holding a stance and a really good vertical set. Being steady with your stance. You run great vertical set. I don't think you're truly trusting that ankle yet. But that's not a bad rep at all. That, that'll win. Good job keeping your head and eyes down and then looking for the ball late. Good. That's a good feel for, for a stair step. Stair set. Good. Get friendly. Run across the field. And then, Juwan, just look here. See how you're going to settle here, but see how you're getting here urgently and then breaking down urgently? That's different than what you did on your game film, which we watched together. So make sure you're breaking down urgently. Get to the spot. Break down suddenly. Good work, fellas. If you got any questions, text me, call me. Any way I can help. From the sidelines, we got to hustle because we got to eat.